Hi, welcome to Mechanical PE Exam Prep. In today's video, we're going to talk about interpolating on the calculator. I recently got a question from a candidate about whether it's possible to quickly and easily interpolate using the calculator. Now, I generally do it, you know, the old school traditional way using the formula or just trying to use an intuitive way if possible to make it go faster like you know if you're halfway between two numbers or even a quarter way in between two numbers but sometimes you just have to get down to the nitty-gritty and interpolate and it would be nice if there was a way to do that um, conveniently and accurately using the calculator and I have two actually because you know redundancy uh, I have the TI 30x2s and then I also have the uh, Casio FX 115 ES Plus. And the TI, as far as I know, doesn't interpolate. If anybody knows otherwise, let me know. Uh, but a, another candidate informed me that the Casio FX 115 does. And uh, I was able to find some information about how that works. And I thought we'd just do a quick demo today of how to set that up. So in this case, um, we're looking at a saturated water table. And let's suppose, for instance, that uh, we have a pressure of 350 PSI, um, or rather 380 PSI. So we're kind of halfway between these two numbers, 350 and 400. And we want to know what the enthalpy is going to be at 380. We could kind of eyeball that and say it's 40% lower, you know, 40% of the distance. But it's going to get, uh, you know, tricky to work out that exact if we're trying to do it with mental math. And you know, if we don't want to make a mistake and we get pretty good at typing this in, it's worth it to just go ahead and set it up in the calculator. So how do we actually do that? Well, we go to mode and then three for stat. And we're doing linear interpolation. So we're assuming that the relationship of the enthalpy is linear to that of the pressure as we go from 350 to 400. So we're going to choose option two, A plus BX, which is the equation of a line. And then we're literally just going to make a table, a, a small table with these two data points, um, where our point is in between the two. So we can just type in um, 350 for our first value, hit enter, or hit uh, equals if you're using the actual calculator. And then for the next x value, it's going to be 400. And then for the y value, you can use these little arrow keys to come over to the next data point you want to enter 409.8 and then right below that 424.14 and that's all you have to do to set it up so then just hit AC to clear that and now to use it the pressure we're interested in getting the enthalpy for is 380 so we type in 380 and then do shift stat 5 for regression because this is a linear regression and then five again for this y hat, which is to say that we want the corresponding y value for the x value that we typed in, which was 380. We want to know the y value that goes with that. So five again, and then hit equals, and we get 418.4, which is closer to 424 than it is to 409, so I'll buy it. And that's how you interpolate on the calculator. One thing I wanted to add, if you're in a pinch or if you use the wrong interval by accident or if you're at the end of an interval and you're kind of off the table, then you can also extrapolate using the same approach. So without changing the table or the data entry that we did already, suppose I wanted to know the corresponding enthalpy for 410 PSI. I could still just type in 410 and then again shift stat five for regression and five for y hat equals and I get 427 which is greater than 424 of course it's into that next interval and um, again it's about a fifth of the way between 424 and 437 so it seems like a reasonable answer so we can interpolate and extrapolate provided the relationship continues to be linear outside of that initial range so hopefully that helps some of you guys uh, interpolate and extrapolate on the calculator